Spins and spirals are easy to misidentify, especially when they happen by surprise. Both are likely to involve a nose-down attitude and a disorienting rotation of the airplane. But it's important to know which is which because the ways out are different. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. A spin is an aggravated aerodynamic stall, so breaking that stall and stopping the airplane's rotation are the keys to recovery. Indicated airspeed tends to be relatively slow and steady in a spin. The recovery method is idle power, opposite rudder, and forward stick. On the other hand, a spiral is a steeply banked turn in which airspeed tends to rise rapidly. If the airspeed indicator shows the airplane accelerating towards cruise speed or even beyond, that's a spiral. The recovery is idle power, wings level, and pull out of the dive. The airspeed indicator can differentiate a spin from a spiral all by itself. Slow and steady means a spin, fast and getting faster means a spiral. Other instruments provide tells of their own. A G-meter will show a steady 1G in a typical spin, but two or even more Gs in a spiral. In an airplane with a fixed pitch propeller, the tachometer will show relatively low engine and prop RPM at idle power in a spin, but relatively high in increasing RPM in a spiral.